Welcome to Electro Online. Depending upon how the generators are wired up and where the coils are placed, we can have two different kinds of phase sequences. It's kind of subtle the difference between them, so we have to be very careful and take a close look at what we have on the board. First of all, let's read the definition. The phase sequence is the sequential order at which the voltages pass through the zero phase point, the point of maximum voltage, and therefore there are two different sequences. So let's take a look at the first sequence. We have to realize that this here is a phase diagram. We have voltage AN, N being the neutral, A being the A terminal. We have voltage BN and voltage CN, and since the phaser will rotate in a counterclockwise direction, we'll get to this point right here, which is called the zero phase point, or the point of maximum voltage. We first have VAN, then VBN will get into its place right here as things rotate, and then VCN will get into its place next. So this kind of phase sequence is considered an ABC sequence, and it's also known, aka, as the positive sequence. But we could have things wired differently in such a way that our phase diagram looks like this. We have VA sub n over here. Over here we have VC sub n instead of B sub n, and B sub n is up here instead of C sub n. Now, since the phase diagram rotates in a counterclockwise direction, we first have VA sub n at the maximum voltage point, or the zero uh, phase point, and then you can see that VC sub n takes its place, and eventually VB sub n. So we can say that the phase sequence is the ACB sequence, and therefore this is known as the negative sequence, because they're in a different order. So those are the two possible phase sequences you can have in a three-phase system, and it's very subtle, but it does make a difference, and it does make a difference in the polarity of the voltage. And that's how we know how it's done.